Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have the beautiful Valen with me today. So make sure to follow her on IG and check her out. Today we're gonna to be doing a no makeup makeup look. This is a very quick, clean look. You can see on the runway, walking down the street, it's just a feel good look. Giving model off duty vibes, we wanna focus on perfect flawless skin while feeling very effortless and natural. There are so many different ways to achieve this makeup, but today I'm gonna to be showing you how I get my clients ready for a no makeup makeup look, on camera look, so here we go. For skin prep, I'm gonna be starting off with my Giorgio Armani Glow On Moisturizing Cream. So I'm just gonna start off by just pressing this into the skin. It just makes such a beautiful skin prep underneath my Luminous Silk Foundation. It really hydrates the skin, makes it nice and plump and radiant. Next for skin prep, I'm gonna be using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. This is such a go-to primer to use underneath my foundations because it just keeps the skin silky smooth. It also helps to blur any imperfections. Just like to start off in the T-zone, just really pressing and working this into the skin. I'm gonna bring it around the sides of the lips, also the chin, anywhere that you tend to get a little oily throughout the day. This is such a great one to use underneath your foundation because it hydrates the skin. Unlike other primers, it doesn't ball up and create this texture on the skin. I find that happening with a lot of other primers that I've used, but this one keeps the skin nice and hydrated, but at the same time, it helps to blur imperfections. It contains rice bran, glycerin, and shea butter to smooth the skin. So I'm gonna be going right into skin. I'm gonna be using my Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 8.75. You guys know I am obsessed with this foundation. I use it in so many of my videos and I've used it on so many of my celebrity clients for numerous red carpet looks and just everyday makeup. I'm just gonna start off on the jawline and bring this in an upward direction. The brush that I'm using is actually by Armani as well. And this one just makes it so easy to apply. You get really nice medium coverage from this foundation and it just blends like a dream. And it comes in 40 diverse shades as well, which is why I love having this in my kit because there's honestly a shade for everyone. And that has always been really important to me. I also really like the size of this brush because I can get around the sides of the face and those harder to reach areas. And this foundation doesn't cover up your skin. I feel like it just enhances your natural beauty. It just smooths out any texture, fine lines, and it just really gives you like that beautiful luminous glow that we all want to achieve with our skin. And I'm just using more of a sweeping technique just to apply this. But you can always go in um, over blemishes and you can definitely stipple in those areas where you want a little bit more coverage like so. You always wanna make sure that you bring it down to the neck just to make sure that everything is seamless. But I need to show you guys the proof on how much I love this product. I have it in small bottles right here. So this is what I keep in my kit just to make it a lot lighter because the glass bottles have been a little bit heavy for me. So I've poured it in here. This is how much I'm obsessed with this foundation. I've been using it for years in my kit. I honestly feel like it's every makeup artist's favorite. And it's also all of my clients' favorite too. Like you were telling me that you also <laughs> wear it. Yes. The best, right? It's seamless. Seamless, flawless every time. It never fails. So it's been my go-to forever. For contour, I'm going to be going in with my Nude Sticks Cream Concealer in the shade 10. I'm actually going to apply this directly to her face, and I'm going to be giving this to her as well for sanitary purposes. This concealer is quite sheer, but it does build up, and it has been making such a beautiful contour on the skin. So I'm just gonna start off on the forehead first. And I'm actually using the same brush that I used for foundation and I'm just blending this in, really working this into the hairline. Basically just adding more depth to the skin and warming it up just a bit. And then we're gonna go in and conceal a little bit. Blending in a downward direction. I feel like this just melted into her skin too. It's a really beautiful, perfect shade. So I'm just gonna apply this right underneath her cheekbones and right underneath the jaw. 
and I'm basically just kind of blending out as I go. I'm holding this in a vertical direction and kind of sweeping in a downward direction as well. And then blending right underneath the jaw and also above the jaw as well, just to make sure that this area looks seamless and blended. Just using what's left over on my brush and just sweeping this over her eyelids again. And I'm also gonna take this down the sides of the nose just to do a quick nose contour. And sometimes I just like to go in with my fingers and just kind of smooth this out. For concealer, I'm gonna be going with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 7.5. I'm obsessed with this concealer. It goes with the Luminous Silk foundation so well. If you really want more of a radiant, luminous glow, you have to try the both of these together. Luminous Silk foundation, complemented with the concealer, blends like a dream. It lasts for 24 hours, like you get 24 hours of hydration with this concealer. And I feel like a lot of the times we can get dry underneath our eye area from setting powders and things like that. But with this concealer, I never have that problem. It keeps the under eye nice and hydrated. And I'm just applying directly on her skin. I'm also gonna be giving this to her as well. Using my Armani Beauty Concealer Brush, I'm just gonna start off right underneath the eyes and just start blending this out and just really working in the concealer anywhere that I've placed it. This concealer is formulated with glycerin, caffeine, and vitamin E to diminish dark circles and it also helps to reduce puffiness around the eyes. To lightly set the under eyes, I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath Labs Loose Powder in the shade two. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush, this one's by Armani, and I'm just gonna start lightly setting in the center of the face, right underneath the eye area, and just a little bit in the T-zone. Also gonna be setting the neck as well. To set the contour, and just to give the skin more of an overall glow, I'm gonna be using my Luminous Silk Glow Setting Powder in the shade 11.5. And to apply it, I'm actually gonna be using a brush by Armani as well. This one makes it so easy to just apply the contour. I'm just gonna start off by sculpting the cheeks a bit and I'm kind of holding it at a slanted downward angle and just kind of moving my wrist as I kind of bring this into the apples of the cheeks. That way I'm able to shade the sides of the face and the hollows of the cheeks. It's such a great product to use if you want to really extend that glow. It also has blurring properties, so you're gonna get a really smooth, glowing complexion. I'm also going to just apply this right over the eyelids, just to give the eyelids more of a bronzy look, and just blending it up into the brow. What's great about this brush is that I'm really able to shade the sides of the face and the hollows of the cheeks all at the same time. It just makes it so much easier, faster and then bringing this into a downward direction on the forehead just to add a little bit more depth. Also bringing this over the eyelids again, just sweeping in an upward direction just to lift. And then I'm also going to just softly shade the sides of the nose and then just bring it right underneath just to lift the nose up. I'm actually gonna be going in with the same powder, but a different shade. This is number eight. Now I'm actually going to start applying this with my Armani blush brush, but you could use it for powder as well. And I'm gonna be applying this kind of in the middle right here, right in between the jaw and also the contour. So basically in the area that I didn't shade, just to add even more glow. And also the center of the face as well. Just a quick sweep right here. And this is also going to just set the face and keep that makeup on all day, but while keeping a glow as well. To keep Valen's lips moisturized, I'm gonna be going in with my Buxom Cosmetics Lip Balm in the shade Dolly Fever. And I just scooped a little bit out here and I'm just gonna apply this with a brush. It does have a little bit of a mauve hue to it. So I'm just gonna let this sit on the lips, keep her lips hydrated. And then at the end, I will go back and do a really beautiful lip color. I feel like we need to go in with some blush, so I'm gonna be using my Buxom Cosmetics Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Mykonos. 
It's a really beautiful coral peachy pink shade. I'll have her smile and I'm just gonna apply this on the apples of the cheeks using my blush brush by Armani. It also has such a beautiful glow to it, so I feel like it's gonna complement the rest of this look really well. And also add a little color too. A little goes such a long way and this product is also 14 hour wear. So you're really gonna have blush that never fades away when wearing the Wonderless Primer Infused Blushes by Buxom. For brows, I'm gonna be going in with my Nude Sticks Eyebrow Stylus in the shade Ash Brown. Now this actually has a gel on one end and then it also has a pencil on the other. So I love that you get the clear gel as well from this one. So I'm basically just gonna start off by applying my pencil anywhere that I see any gaps. She has amazing eyebrows, so I feel like I can just go with her natural shape. And that's typically what I always like to do when filling in the brows. Start with what you have first and then see where you need to enhance. And then I'm just gonna brush with a spoolie as I go. And then as I get towards the inner part of the brow, I'm gonna soften up my hand. So that way the inner part of the brow looks nice and faded. You also wanna hold the pencil in a vertical direction so you can draw hair-like strokes that just look real. So same thing on this side, I'm just basically looking at the brow and seeing where the sparse areas are, starting with that first. And then from there, I'll look at the brows and see where do I need to elongate, where do we need to add more? but just starting with the sparse areas and the natural shape always helps me to get more of a perfected brow first. And then brushing as I go, so I can see the shape and see where the gaps are. For eyes, I'm gonna be going in with my eye tint from Armani, and this is the shade 41. What's really unique about this product is the applicator. You can go directly onto the eyes with it, and you can even use it as an eyeliner as well if we were to use a darker color. So I'm just gonna start right by the lash line and just work my way up. And you guys can see this is such a gorgeous bronzy copper tone. The brush that I'm using to apply it is the Angled Eye Brush by Armani as well. It makes it so easy to apply. It's basically effortless when applying this. And it's such a smooth application. It also gives a 16 hour wear. So this is great if you just want your makeup to stay on all day. And I mean, who doesn't? You're just always gonna have like a flawless, seamless eyeshadow application because it also does not crease or smudge. I'm basically just applying this in an upward, outward direction, pretty close to the brow bone. And you can even use the edge of this brush to kind of give you more of a lifted eyeshadow shape. Also like to bring it into an inward direction just to contour the inner part of her eye a little bit. Just to give a little bit more color, gives more of a sultry look. And same thing on this side, just starting right by the lashes and I'm just working my way up. And they also last forever too, as long as you take care of them, clean them. I also like to use this brush to like contour the nose a lot too. There's so many different ways you can use the tools. So I'm also gonna have her look up and I'm just gonna use the edge of the brush, this very tip right here, and just get right underneath the lashes with it just to smoke this out a little bit, give us like a bronzy hue right underneath the lashes. So that way when we do the mascara, it's kind of just peeking through and giving us a wash of color. The eye tints are also amazing to use. If you just wanna grab something, go, but have like a really seamless eyeshadow application that stays. And then the same thing on this side, just getting really close to the lash line, starting with the most pigment right underneath the lashes, and then kind of just using what's left over to work my way a little bit lower. I'm gonna go in with one more shade. This is more of like a champagne tone and number 34. I'm just gonna pop this right here in the inner corner just to add a little bit more of a glow. And then using the same brush, I'm just kind of working this in, stippling it just to bring a little light into the inner corner. For mascara, I'm gonna be using my Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara. This is another one that I've been using in my kit for years, and I see so many celebrity makeup artists using this mascara. It gives you maximum volume and length in literally one coat. 
I kind of like to coat top and bottom like this just to really saturate every single lash. It also contains a blend of hard and soft waxes just to give you that maximum volume and length. And I am applying this directly on her eye because I'm gonna be giving this to her and you guys know, you hear me say that all the time. I always have designated mascaras for my clients or I just give it away. For bottom lashes, I'm just gonna hold this pretty close to the root of the lashes and then just bring this in a downward direction. You can also hold it kind of vertically like this just to lengthen even more. I also love how soft it just makes the bottom lashes look. A little goes such a long way with this product. I always like to do a bit more on the top and then softer on the bottom just to lift the eyes. To line her lips, I'm gonna be going in with my Giorgio Armani Smooth Silk Lip Liner in the shade two. Such a beautiful neutral shade that you can use with so many different lip tones. And I'm just gonna follow the natural shape of her lips because she has such a beautiful shape as is. And I'm gonna shade the corners just a bit. You basically just wanna go in and just get like a soft line. To wrap up this no makeup makeup look, I'm gonna be using my Lip Maestro by Armani in the shade 102. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this with a brush. I put some on the back of my hand first. Have you guys ever used like a lip product that just feels pillowy? This is exactly what that feels like. It has such a rich, creamy texture, long wearing, and it just has this like plush feel to it. So you get extreme comfort throughout the whole day. It's also a velvet matte texture that is non-sticky and like I said, extremely long wearing. This would also be a great lip color to wear underneath your mask because you just know it's not going anywhere. That is so beautiful. It's a really nice neutral tone. And when you apply it with a brush like this, this one's also by Giorgio Armani, you get a really precise makeup application. So I highly recommend that. I don't even need to clean it up this way. So that wraps up today's look. If you followed along and you're feeling this natural effortless look, snap a pic, tag me on IG so I can see your beautiful faces and give you a shout out. I hope you all enjoyed today's video with Valen and I. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Look, giving moth... <laughs> this would also be a... This would also... To keep her lips, um, this would also be a, this would also, I feel like that was good. I feel like we nailed that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Oh, we did that guys. She knew the power of her mind and so programmed it for success.